In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus H2SO4. This is iron 3 chloride plus sulfuric acid. First thing we do with net ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I'm going to start out by balancing the sulfate ions. I have one here, and then I have three sulfate ions in the products. So if I put a three in front of the sulfuric acid, three sulfates here, three sulfates here, that's all good. Now I have two times three is six hydrogens. I'll put a six here. Those are balanced, six chlorines. Put a two here, two times three is six. They're balanced. I have two irons, but that's okay. I have two there. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the chlorine atom, this chloride, that's gonna be soluble AQ. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid, so that's gonna be aqueous, that'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. And then in general, sulfates are soluble, but let's look this one up. This might be a special case. So we're looking up the iron three ion right here, and then the sulfate right here. So if we go over and down, we get this SS, slightly soluble. That means most of it will be insoluble. A little bit will dissolve. For the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider slightly soluble to be insoluble. So our iron three sulfate here is gonna be insoluble. That means it's gonna be a solid. These two substances here react. The iron three sulfate, it's a precipitate. It's a solid and it falls to the bottom of the test tube. So Fe2SO43, when you see this, you wanna check this might be a precipitate. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so that's gonna be aqueous we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't know iron, but we do know that the chloride ion is one minus, and we have three of them. The iron will be three plus. So two of these iron three ions, and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus we have two times three, six of those chloride ions for Hydrogen, that's in group one on the periodic table, that'll be one plus. And the whole sulfate ion here, that is two minus. So we have three times two, we'll have six hydrogen ions and we'll have three sulfate ions. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This is our precipitate, so we're gonna keep this together. And then hydrogen, we said that was positive, the chloride ion negative, six hydrogen ions, just like the reactants, plus six chloride ions, just like the reactants. So at this point, we have our complete ionic equation. We can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. On the top, I have reactants, products on the bottom. I see six chloride ions here in the reactants and in the products. Let's cross those out. They're spectator ions. Six hydrogen ions, again, in the products cross them out, spectator ions. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus H2SO4. You note the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced as well. Two times three plus, that's six plus. Three times two minus is six minus. So that all gives us a net charge of zero. And since this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero over here as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for iron three chloride plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.